When I got into pressure forming projects, I didn't know how much it took until I actually started. And this 3D printed template has eight millimeter wall thickness. So I turned this template into this pressure form tray and it came out really nice. I used the MakeU multiplier and I had just received it a few days ago. So I'm going to be checking it out. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, this is the Make You Multiplier pressure forming machine. And I was able to put it into the shelving unit. Um, these U line shelvings are probably the best choice for these. So, what came inside of the packaging are the sample template and the first make kit. It's a cute sample template. It's supposed to be 3D printed. We recommend using this sample template to form your first make with the multiplier. We've designed the features of the template to demonstrate some of the best practices of thermal forming and also some things to watch out for and you need to read the booklet inside this bag to find out more. So I got it plugged in. I want to check out this. template so it comes with the the booklet that they were talking about and this is a very nice 3d print so they have what is that wall thickness depth the logos. Oh, that's neat. So they kind of show you how the best um, support on the underneath because it's going to be pressurizing it and this part is it's pretty thick. So this is the this is the sample sheets that have got delivered. And here, oh, here's the hips. That one's one millimeter and it's a uh, white circle sheets. They said it was, it comes with two of them. And we just peel away the little things. This one is a PET G, one millimeter, and they both they all have the films between the sheets to keep them from getting scratched. And this one is the EVA, and it's clear. And this one is 1.5 millimeters, and this one's best for making molds. To uh, they're recommending making chocolates. Um, we can also do. Uh, concrete, little, you know, make, make little pots or uh, other, other molds so you can pour resin in and different materials like liquid rubber. So the item that comes out would be similar to this EVA rubber material. So it also came with an Allen wrench. A little Allen keys and a microfiber and then the instructions booklet. I'm going to, um, you know, just read through it. It weighs 130 pounds. I couldn't pick it up. I'm, I'm used to picking up refrigerators and washing machines, but by myself, I couldn't pick this up. <laughs> it was, it was, it's quite heavy. It has the two tanks on the bottom. And there is a release uh, valve right where my hand is. And when I push it, air comes out. So we can purge the tanks whenever we're done with the machine. Um, yeah, two person run. 
It's meant to be 150 millimeters away from the ball. I am not supposed to do it this way, but for the sake of it, I, I'm just going to keep it this way for a little bit. I'll get the template made and I'll be back in 19 hours. I'll be going through the setup guide and I'll just be looking at the options I'm going through Wi-Fi the next screen I activated the machine so I go down into the firmware and I updated so I can get the current settings. It didn't take too long since it was connected to Wi-Fi already. I'll turn the multiplier off and turn it back on, let it boot up, and it's ready to go. I'm going to select the material type from the screen settings and the thickness. I'll get the sheet ready. I will insert the material. I'll make sure it sits in correctly. close the lid I will lock the o-ring that lifts the sheet with the door now I'll just have to wait for the tanks to pressurize to the correct setting you can notice that the heat lamp has started to warm up and it's a nice red. It's really cool looking at. So I was making sure that the part fits inside of the build plate area that it's going to form. And I would hear a beep when it's ready. So it's telling me to close the lid. I had some resistance so that's why I opened the lid up again and closed it. So. I lock it and you'll hear the pressure build up. The crackling in this part is from the template not being designed properly. So I will fix that later on. We're letting it cool down. And the score was not the best. It said that there was a leak and I got a score of 22. This helps out on the efficiency of producing the parts. Now I'll let the part out. Now I'll remove the part from the pressure former and we'll see that it was a failure. This is a good start. It showed me how the items are meant to be formed and how I can improve I'm going to try to remove the template so I can see how I can improve it. Here you can see where it melted and there was no air to escape through the part and I will be printing a new one and that's here. I have gotten the new template printed going to start all over and let's see how it comes out. This time it's a different design and with the specs from the booklet of how the first make template sampler was created, I used that towards this new template.
this time I got a better score. It was 85 and you can tell that there was no air leak since the part burst last time. This time you can see that the item got pressurized correctly throughout the part on the template. And now I'm just going to clean up as much as I can before I remove it from the template. This bit kit was perfect for drilling the small holes inside the template that helped with the pressurize process. Here I just cleaned up the edges with my Dremel and it, it helped a lot. I'll find a better process to finish these pr this final product for our clients. So my thoughts on the machine are really great. I loved how easy it is to use. And for a first time use, I did destroy my template, but I've learned from my mistake and kind of stepped through these little obstacles to make a successful template that won't be crushed from the pressure of the machine. Uh, the first one of these just totally melted on itself. And here it is. This one is very strong and it is FDM printed. I noticed on the manual booklet it says SLS printing as recommended for the pressure former. Uh, but I was able to get a successful print done, not melted, <laughs> and pressure formed. So I might uh, continue some of these for this client, uh, United Empire. Uh, they might want the word taken off. It just depends on what they're looking for. Well, it has been great to share my experience with all of you and whomever might want to contact us to use the machine. It would be great to share the next projects that I have coming with all of you. And yeah. I would not recommend this machine being in your home as a compressor. Uh, sometimes you could probably get away with it, with it only running five to 10 minutes. But if you are doing multiple forms each day, it might concern the neighbors of the loudness and the vibration of what it transfers to the tables and the walls. But nonetheless, this is a really good machine. I would recommend it to anybody that is creating pro prototypes and they have customers that need custom made items to current day the machines are running for six thousand dollars and if it was in your budget i would recommend getting one for anybody who is a an entrepreneur or somebody who wants to create items and help produce i am i'm really happy with the machine it's it's like a dream come true for a creator like myself. And I hope I can share this experience and this potential of helping grow companies and people just have something they want made, I can help them out. So if y'all want to continue watching new videos, it would be great if you can subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.